What's up, everybody? Paul Hickey here with NoOffseason.com. This is the Sports Card Strategy Show feed. It's your weekly baseball card market update. Today is October 21st, Monday, and a lot of baseball card news to talk about here on the NoOffseason.com Sports Card Network, brought to you, of course, by NoOffseason.com, the number one place to get all the information you need to make money flipping sports cards. Check out nooffseason.com today and get a free 30-day trial to get all that information and all those tools you need to make money flipping sports cards. All right, let's get into the baseball card market data. I want to start with some Bowman cards. The Bowman cards that have sold the most over the last seven days, 66 sales of Shohei Otani's 2018 Bowman 49 base PSA 10. 63 sales of Shohei Otani's 2018 Bowman 49 base PSA 9. The 10 goes for an average of 141. The 9 going for an average of $46.18. Paul Skeen's 2023 Bowman Draft base paper first, still selling quite often. 58 sales in the last seven days. Average $6.88. Not bad for a paper card. Ken Griffey Jr.'s 1989 Bowman base raw. Interesting. 55 sales in the last seven days. Average sale price, $7.42. Skeens, his 2023 Bowman Draft Chrome First Raw, selling 54 times in the last seven days for an average of $15.50. Ellie De La Cruz, his 2024 Bowman Base Raw Rookie Card, 53 sales in the last seven days. Average sale price, $2. Aaron Judge, his 1917 Bowman 32 Base Raw, Sold 50 times in the last seven days for an average sale of $15.28. Shohei Otani's 2018 Bowman Base Raw, we talked about the 9 and the 10 earlier, sold 48 times in the last seven days for an average of $28.73. So a bit of upside there on both the 10 and the 9 for Shohei Otani's 2018 Bowman Base Raw. Here's a prospect to keep an eye on. Theron Lorenzo traded from the Dodgers to the Tigers recently. His 2024 Bowman Chrome first prospect auto raw sold 40 times in the last seven days. Average sale price $17.62. Lorenzo mashing for the Tigers in the Arizona Fall League right now. Uh, for the Scottsdale Scorpions, Theron Lorenzo heating up, smoked a double to right field with one out in the bottom of the second inning a couple of days ago, hitting very well. And Lorenzo currently ranked the Tigers' sixth overall prospect in high A ball, not projected to come up to the majors until 2026, but very interesting that Lorenzo, a catcher and a first baseman, he can DH, good hitter. And this Bowman Chrome first prospect auto uh, out of 2024 Bowman Chrome that we talked about, raw, selling 40 times in the last seven days for an average sale price of $17.62. Gotta believe this could be a card that the raw to grade formula likes. We might have to run it through the formula at nooffseason.com and see where that goes. Jaron Elkins also... Somebody else out of that 2024 Bowman Chrome baseball release, his 2024 first prospect auto raw, selling 36 times in the last seven days for an average sale price of $4.30. Another one to keep an eye on there. Elkins also in a Dodgers card, just like Lorenzo and Jaron Elkins. Uh, we're going to look him up real quick and, and find out where he currently ranks for the Dodgers in their farm system. But Jaron Elkins, a player that is not ranked for the Dodgers, which means, who does he play for, everybody? Jaron Elkins, currently playing in the, it says he's in the Dodgers farm system. Uh, and he is not in the Dodgers top 30 prospects. As of now, according to, MLB.com, but it could just be, honestly, coming out of a new release and being in a Dodgers uniform, uh, that that is maybe one of the reasons why this card is selling. Uh, but it's only selling for $4.30. However, selling 36 times in the last seven days. All right, now let's go over to the top overall 
baseball cards. So we did Bowman. These are the top top overall baseball cards by sales volume in the last seven days. Paul Skeens out of the 2024 Tops Update, which just released his base raw US 100 rookie card, sold 251 times in the last seven days. So Paul Skeens' market has not cooled down a bit even though some of his Bowman prices have come down because some of his tops releases have come out, people still want Paul Skeens. So if you're making plays on Paul Skeens, it might not be a bad idea to hold until next season when his prices hopefully rise again in March. However, 251 sales of this card in the last seven days, average sale price $9 for a base card. Also, out of the same release, his rookie debut card, out of 2024 tops update. This is the US 288. Sold 163 times in the last seven days for an average of $5.69. We've talked about the Tops MVP buyback program at length on this program. Shoyo Otani's 2024 Tops Chrome Base Raw is a card that is selling for that reason. 104 sales in the last seven days. Average sale price $13.76. Ellie De La Cruz 2024 Tops Chrome Base Raw. Selling 92 times in the last seven days for an average of just under $4. The formula loves that card. All right, let's go over to the top graded baseball cards sold in the last seven days by sales volume. We've already hit on number one and number two. They were the Otani 2018 Bowman Base PSA 10 and PSA 9. Coming in at number three, Juan Soto 2018 Tops Update US 300 Base PSA 10. 58 sales in the last seven days, average $59.20, followed by four other, five other Otani cards and then another Soto card. All right, let's go over to the top baseball card sales by sale price in the last seven days. Aaron Judge, his 2013 Bowman Draft Chrome Auto Orange Refractor out of 25 in BGS 95 sold yesterday for $27,600. Mickey Mantle's 1952 Tops 311 Base SGC1 sold on October 15th for $25,100. Shohei Otani's 2018 Tops Chrome Rookie Auto Gold Refractor out of 50 sold in BGS 9.5 on October 14th for $23,000. Babe Ruth, his 1933 Gaudi 144 base PSA 4, sold on October 18th for $18,500. Hank Aaron, his 1954 Tops 128 base PSA 7, sold on October 19th for $14,000. And Pete Rose, his 2024, get this, 2024 Bowman Chrome Refractor Auto Super Fractor Out of 1 Raw, sold on October 17th for $11,200. This, everybody, was his Bowman first superfractor. Remember they did the Bowman retrofractor? This is a Bowman chrome retrofractor with the first logo on it for Pete Rose. Pete Rose, 1963 Tops Rookie Stars, PSA 8, sold on October 16th for $10,900. Rest in peace, Pete Rose, baseball legend. And uh, as we see very commonly after a player passes away, their cards sell for the most they've ever sold for. Now let's go to baseball cards that have sold five or more times in the last seven days with the highest sale price. Ken Griffey Jr.'s 1989 Upper Deck Base PSA 10 sold on October 19th for $1,980. Shohei Otani's 2018 Bowman Chrome Base Batting PSA 10 sold on October 21st which was today, earlier today, for $1,030. Shohei Otani's 2018 Topps Chrome X-Fractor Pitching PSA 10 sold on October 17th for $900. Mike Trout, 2011 Topps Update Base PSA 10 sold yesterday for $813. Okay, now let's go to the top risers by price change percentage in the baseball card market, but they've got to have 10 or more sales in the last seven days. They've got to be 2012 through the present graded only. Aaron Judge, 2017 Bowman Base PSA 9, up 66.5% or $18. Juan Soto's 2018 Tops Update Rookie Debut, PSA 10, up 63.5% or $15. Now let's take a look at the 
Biggest fallers by price change percentage in the same category. Ellie de la Cruz's 2024 tops now base PSA 10 down 48% or $17. And Paul Skeen's 2024 tops now base PSA 10 down 36% or $15. Everybody, thanks so much for watching the weekly baseball card market update brought to you by CGC Cards, the perfect place to slab your favorite sports cards. From their crystal clear holders to their affordable pricing, CGC Cards is the perfect stop for your grading needs. Everybody go to cgccards.com right now to start grading your sports cards. If you're a premium member at nooffseason.com, you get 20% off your CGC membership. So get that free 30-day trial right now and get that promo code on October 15th, a 1989 Fleer Randy Johnson CSG85 sold on one bid for $7.99. I highly recommend if you're buying these old CSG slabs with the green label, get them sent in to CGC, get a new black label on there in a new slab for five bucks. On October 14th, a 1962 Topps Mickey Mantle All-Star in CGC4 sold on two bids for $135.50. Thanks for joining us on the weekly baseball card market update. Don't forget to like this at youtube.com slash Paul Hickey. Comment, share, leave us a five-star review on your favorite podcast app, and stay tuned for our Monday and Wednesday sports card strategy show full episodes and Friday's premium podcast. Get a free 30-day trial at nooffseason.com today to start learning our guidelines, strategies, and plays to help you make money flipping sports cards. Get those formula based sports card rankings, take sports card school and get unlimited advice from me to help you build your sports card investment portfolio. Thanks again to our sponsor, CGC Cards. Everybody have a great day.